Okay, this is uh, video number two. Uh, as you can see, we are going to talk about the battery eliminator. As the name suggests, this particular electronic device eliminates the need for a battery. Uh, so it comes uh, just with a wire which is connected to our main supply uh, and with an on off switch. Uh, and what it does is, it is, it is a, it's a rather heavy instrument. This is our main power supply for all the experiments that we are doing and as you can see this will have knobs here so how this works is the 220 AC supply comes in here at the back yeah it has a fuse also just in case uh, so inside there is a transformer that steps down the voltage right uh, and also it converts the AC voltage to DC voltage so here you can see you can choose what value of uh, EMF you want supplied to your main circuit and you connect this red is the positive and uh, black is the negative and this can be uh, this can be connected to the rest of the circuit that's the idea now let me just show you how this works so you switch this on right and then you make the connection but before you make the connection uh, let me just show a couple this is a this is a multimeter i use this for measuring just about everything in the lab so with this multimeter you have uh, different settings right and here you have uh, this is off now now I want to measure these voltages right so this is uh, of the order of 2 volt 2 4 6 8 10 and 12 is there yeah 12 also so that means I'll, I will choose my range this is this is uh, DC voltage you can see that two two parallel lines there this is AC voltage the sinusoidal wave that you see right so I will keep this this will be off and then I can turn it on. I'll keep it at 20 because I have to take the readings. And I have to put these leads in. These are the these are the leads that come uh, with the multimeter, the red and the uh, red and the black. So there's a common port here. The black one goes into the common port. Of course, you don't get to use the multimeter. Only I do. But I thought it's it's uh, it's it'll be helpful to learn about it anyway. Uh, the red goes into uh, if you are measuring voltage resistance or milliampers you can put it in them large 10 ampere uh, values you have to put into this so with this we never use so we'll only have it here all right and then it has a stand kind of thing here so we'll keep it here right and let's watch so the red lead is there and the black lead is there now to bring the bring the battery eliminator into the picture let me move this back a little bit okay all right and then this is the battery eliminator. I'll switch it on. Now, I'll put the black in the black. That is the negative terminal. And I'll put the uh, red in the red. That is the uh, positive terminal. And when I do, as of now, wait one second. Yeah. Red in the red. And black in the black. And I do that. Check the reading on the check the reading on the app, the multimeter this is now at 2 volt now I set this at 2 volt here can you see the reading it shows a little above 2 it will show always and you need to ask yourself the question why does it not show exactly 2 right that's a question I leave for you to answer now what I'm going to do is um, uh, I'll move this a little bit this side so you can see that the readings um, put this in here Okay, doesn't stay all by itself, it's a little difficult. Now, from 2, I'm going to shift the knob to 4. There you go, look at the reading change. It doesn't show exactly 4, it shows a little above 4, right? Okay, next one. There, it shows a little above 6, it doesn't show 6. So you need to ask yourself the question. Uh, this knob is a little offset, that's why it should be at exactly at 8. It's not pointing because uh, this is slightly loose at the top. You have to ask yourself the question, why does the battery eliminator, this is actually 10, should point at 10, the head is a little loose. And then the last one, right, 12. You need to ask yourself the question, why it shows higher value than what is shown, right. Now, what in all this, one thing that you need to know about instruments with these knobs, for instance, you have a, a resistance box also, which has a knob. Now, you see there is a good chance that this thing will come loose this this piece right in fact so much so there's a there is a screw here 
right if you can see that screw if you loosen that this will just rotate around without actually changing the value so your best way out is to go by how it feels you push it all the way down now it doesn't move so then you know that it is the two reading right it's the two reading then you can close your eyes and count to four six and eight and you know that it is eight you want to confirm there you go you shove this here and here and it will show eight there you go that's how we know okay anyway for your experiments you will not use any of these you will only use two volt or at the most four more volts not more than that let us be very very clear about that you do not use uh, more than uh, four volt it's just two volt or four volt so that's the battery element